course, the, the other thing you get to do at a convention is roll out your vice presidential candidate, which in this case was J.D. Vance. Um, yeah. What I know think, him a little bit. What do you think of him? Look, we're from the same generation. We're both from the Midwest, different parts of the Midwest. Right. Um, I know a lot of guys like J.D. Vance. I've, I've run into a, guy, a lot of guys like him. Not so much when I was growing up Peter in Indiana. Thiel. But, hmm. Peter Thiel is his big backer. Yeah, for sure. And okay, and if people don't know who that is, he started PayPal. Yeah. He's gay. He's a billionaire. I mean, I've had a couple of people who knew you were coming on this week said, yeah. ask Pete what he thinks about Peter Thiel being so in love with J.D. Vance, who is against, flatly against gay marriage. So I think it's a profound contradiction, but maybe it's not that complicated. I know there are a lot of folks who say, what's going on with some of these Silicon Valley folks veering into Trump world with, with J.D. Vance and, and, and backing Trump? What are they thinking? Silicon Valley is supposed to be, you know, they're supposed to bear, care about climate. They're supposed to be, you know, I don't know, pro-science and rational and libertarian. So <laughs> normally libertarians don't like authoritarians. What's up with that? I think it's actually, we've made it way too complicated. It's super simple. These are very rich men <laughs> who have decided to back the Republican Party that tends to do good things for very rich men. <laughs> and by the way, that's, that's, yeah. that's kind of what you're getting with... That's kind of what you're getting with J.D., right? So uh, I, I knew a lot of people like him when, when I got to Harvard. I found a lot of people like him who would say whatever they needed to to get ahead. And five years ago, that seemed like being the anti-Trump Republican, so that's what he was. Uh, talked about how he was unfit, how he was cynical. Um, called him an opioid, which is kind of a weird thing to say about a person, but definitely a really... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, but, I mean, for somebody whose identity is that they're connected to Appalachia, which has an opioid crisis, that really is the darkest thing you could possibly say about Donald Trump. At least in public, but behind the scenes, apparently he's actually calling him Hitler, right? <laughs> Seriously. Five years well, later, well, the way he gets ahead is that he's the greatest guy since uh, sliced bread. And I actually watched this exact same process with somebody else I got to know uh, in my days in the Midwest, which was uh, my former governor, Mike Pence, who I watched start out as an evangelical Christian who cared about rectitude and family values, and then get on board with a guy who was uh, uh, mixed up with a porn star, make excuses for him so that he could have power. And then he did. He got four glorious years, I guess, as vice president of the United States. <laughs> and it ended on the west front of the Capitol with Trump supporters proposing that he be hanged for <laughs> using the one shred of integrity he still had to stand up to an attempt to overthrow the government. Right. So I guess, maybe not as a politician, but as a human being, what I'll say is that I hope things work out a little bit better for J.D. Vance than they did for my <laughs>